Are you the kind of person who celebrates spooky season until Thanksgiving? Are you anxiously awaiting new episodes of your favorite Netflix show? Are you looking for a great night out? If so, we've got great news for you. A little piece of Hawkins, Indiana has made its way to LA in Rockwell Table and Stage's unauthorized musical parody of Stranger Things. In the past, Rockwell has focused on giving movies the parody treatment with musicals like Bridesmaids, Clueless, and Jurassic Park. But not to fear, they've absolutely nailed this TV adaptation as well. The comedic timing of the cast couldn't be better, and the Broadway caliber vocals are simply mesmerizing. Emma Hunton is a standout as the frantic Joyce Byers, nailing the signature Winona Ryder panic and perseverance to hysterical effect. Crowd favorite Barb is played by Tony Award winner Marissa Jarrett Winokur, who gives the role a hilarious twist. I just gave you a key piece of evidence! The interactions between Garrett Clayton's delightfully douchey Steve and Kelly Jekyll's Nancy are also a major highlight. The wide array of song choices matches the offbeat tone of the production, an instrumental version of Stranger Things theme song complete with the cast making the logo out of paper is the perfect way to open. Lana McKissick's Eleven is a central part of some of the most memorable numbers. Her high energy dance to Maniac with Owen Riss Davies gets one of the biggest laughs in the show. McKissick's impressive rapping skills to Diana Ross's Upside Down is perfection, and the creep duet between her and Damon Gravina's Mike is a genuinely sweet moment. Other favorite songs include an ultra-sexual Flashdance physical mashup performed by Hunton's Joyce and Eric Peterson's Sheriff Hopper, and a composition that meshes Guns N' Roses and the Beatles. Rockwell has brought the idea of audience participation to a whole new level with this show. Patrons are always encouraged to take photos and record videos during the show, but never before have they been so immersed in it. This show incorporates Dungeons and Dragons style elements, meaning the roll of a dice decides things like who Nancy sleeps with at the party and even how the show ends. One audience member even has the immense pressure of deciding whether they'd rather have a free drink or keep Barb alive. Hey, audience, if you want Barb to live, say live! live! Rockwell also offers a variety of delicious foods and drinks the audience can choose from to enjoy while they watch the show. The truffle fries are an absolute must, and the bird dog peach lemonade is highly recommended. The flatbread pizza, macaroni and cheese, and bread pudding are also incredible. Open the gates, hop on your bike, and build a deprivation tank if you need to. Whatever you do, do not miss Rockwell's unauthorized musical parody of Stranger Things. Honestly, on a scale of 1 to 10, this show is a solid 11. And if you want to catch it, the show runs every Thursday through Sunday until December 2nd.